such a nice day that I completely forgot to film so we're officially starting this vlog on day two so I just woke up and now the plan is to get some breakfast and then we'll go to Montmartre we'll have a look at some flare markets there and then we will move to the city center and do a little bit of shopping so we'll see if we will manage to get into Chanel today and maybe also a mess yesterday we already spent some time on the west side of the city so we started at Arc de Triomphe went down to Champs Elysees and then we ended the day at the Eiffel Tower and let me tell you it was so beautiful we saw it sparkling and it's so magical I will never forget that moment um, yeah little update from my side and now I already need to hurry because my friends are waiting for me. Quick fit check, my outfit of the day. I am wearing this beautiful Magali Pascal dress. Uh, then I will take my Chanel 19 bag and I'm wearing some Gucci slides that you can probably not see properly. I'm ready to go. back in our room so the day is almost over but as you might see I just got myself ready for a night out uh, this is my look of the day or of the night actually I have this white sequin dress from the Lona Lux uh, in this style collection and then I will wear my black classic flap and a pair of golden heels let's see how long I will be able to walk in them um, yeah, the plan is to go out for some dinner and then have some drinks, find a nice bar and yeah, just have a nice evening in Paris. Let's go!
Sunny on the way to the Fifty Cent concert. Let's go. We just arrived at the concert hall and we are about to see Fifty Cent now. He like a rock, but we only need a little bit. We are back from Paris and it was the most amazing trip ever. I think I didn't tell you in the video before but it was a surprise trip that we organized for one of my friends for her birthday. It was her wish to go to that concert, to the 50 Cent concert and then her boyfriend decided to surprise her with tickets for that and then me, my boyfriend and another friend also spontaneously joined and surprised her so it was a really really nice trip i enjoyed it a lot just wanted to give you a little summary or some closing words to this video so first learning that i took away from our paris trip is that if you want to go to one of the fancy restaurants you know the well-known ones like lulu's at the louvre or coco at palais gagné or yeah any of those restaurants that you might see on instagram a lot you definitely have to ensure that you book them well in advance, if not even months before. So we managed to get into Coco at Palais Gagné, which was really nice. So I can recommend that 100%. But for example, we did not get a table at Lulu's. We tried to reserve it, I think, a month before. But on the website, they stated that it's fully booked until end of July or something like that, or even longer. And we were there in June, so it was like about two months fully booked so that's crazy you have to consider that if you really want to go to such place the same is valid for all the stores so if you're interested in going to the chanel or the hermes or louis vuitton or dior flagship store or also especially goyard you should try to get an appointment in advance if you have some contacts on the website it was not possible for most of the boutiques i checked chanel and dior for example and i think louis vuitton too and it was not possible to make an appointment there, at least not in the season where we went. Maybe it's different in other seasons, I'm not sure, but if you have an SA, definitely take advantage of that. Otherwise, you will have to prepare yourself to wait for at least half an hour, but if you think about Goya, probably around two hours, so we gave up on that. If you're looking for something specific, I can also recommend you to try to check the less popular stores, which are usually the stores that are within bigger department stores, because they are not the huge and popular flagships that everybody wants to see when they visit Paris. So you might have better chances to get those things there. And it was also the case for me, so 
besides the little or the big something that I got at Ricombon, I also got another thing which was on my wishlist since forever and this one I found in the Chanel store at Ponton department store. For the museums, something that is good to know is that all museums in Paris are free for people under 26 years old. So you should also definitely take advantage of that in case you are younger than 26. And I would also recommend you to book a ticket in advance for the Louvre because then you have to wait for a maximum of half an hour. But I think we didn't even wait for that long. It was like 10 minutes or so until we got in. So that's really nice. Regarding transport, I can say that the fastest way of transport is definitely the metro, but we also got an Uber here and there. It is more comfortable, but Paris traffic can be quite tough, so if you need to be somewhere fast or on time, I would say that you have the best chances to get there on time uh, when you go by metro. But of course, the most beautiful thing is to discover Paris by foot and that's what we did most of the time. So we walked like 10 to 15 kilometers a day and it was so worth it because Paris is so beautiful. You get to discover all the beautiful houses and their facades and yeah, strolling there is just the most enjoyable thing to do and the best way to explore the city and its beauty. So forget about the fancy shoes, just throw on a comfortable pair of sneakers and enjoy the city by walking through the beautiful streets of Paris. As you might see here, I was very successful. I got something at Dior in Avenue Moutin. I got something from Hermes, from the Faubourg store. And I also got the nicest thing at the Chanel Rue Combon store in the white packaging. So if you know, you know. <laughs> But this one I will show you in my next video. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and maybe you'll leave a little comment. If you have any questions, just let me know and I will try my best to answer them. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.